In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with the dimensioning tool. Um, I have a floor plan here, and I've turned off a bunch of layers, but I've left on the grid, the walls, um, the cut walls, and the uncut walls. The first dimension that I'm going to place is going to be an overall dimension from the outer point here to the outer point here, and I'll put that in between the grid and this this box right here that is the viewport box. I want to make sure that the dimension fits inside that space. Um, I've made my current layer dim and I'm going to click on the dimensioning tool and I'm going to snap to one point here and then I'm going to snap to the other point and then I'm going to come up in between that um, grid and the, the outer box and I'll click one more time and I will then have placed the dimension string. I'll make another dimension string going vertically from the bottom to the furthest point in my plan. And I will do the same thing. I'll place this dimension string. Now you can see it's snapping to an endpoint. Um, if you place it and it goes to a location that you don't want, you can always click on the dimension and drag the dimension from, from its grips. Okay, now um, I'm going to start to dimension these walls, um, and the grid is going to maybe get in the way a little bit, so I'll turn that off. And I will begin making a horizontal dimension string. All right, I don't need to dimension the thickness of the columns and walls. I'll handle that with a note. Um, so I've made one dimension in between the wall and the column, and I'm going to use the continue tool to continue placing dimensions all the way across the plan. All right now, as I mentioned, I'm not going to need those eight inch dimensions and they're sort of on top of other things. So I'm going to click on, on them and erase them. Right, and I'll erase this 8 inch dimension. So the idea is that you dimension all of the walls in the plan. Um, I'll make another dimension that runs vertically. Um, I'll place it right here. And I'll use that continue tool to keep adding. All right, I'll just march ac across the plan, picking up as many things as I can. Continue again, and then come back and erase some of the dimensions. If you find that dimensions are on top of other objects, you can you can click on them and shift them around a little bit. So this plan will get very full of of uh, graphic content, and you might find that you need to do that. So I'm just going to drag this over and you can drop it a little bit closer depending on what kinds of things you're trying to avoid. 